feel blessed. I'm way up, I feel blessed. Hey, good morning, everyone. It's a sleepy, beautiful Seattle Sunday over here. I think I figured out the music situation. I spent a lot of time last night researching on my new Surface Go and, uh, about music. So, because I was using Gemendo before, which is pretty cool, but uh, I kind of ran into this issue that I just uploaded that video last night to YouTube. And previously, I had no issues, but this morning, Apparently, uh, YouTube doesn't like that one, so a few songs got flagged. So I'm not sure if I can go back and refute that, but I think I, there's different fees. So now I'm using this Pretzel, which is a great name for a product. Uh, so Pretzel.rocks is what I'm using. It, it updates in the stream and stuff, which is pretty cool. I don't know all about it. So I'll probably get a premium membership to that too, but a lot of people ask me, like, what am I listening to? What am I doing? So I have it now in the stream on different sections, but it also spam the chat, which is kind of cool too. So let me know if it's too loud, if it's too much. Uh, I need to kind of play around with the level. I think it's at like 8% right now on my machine. There, yeah, so it's 8 a.m. Pretty cool. I'm a little bit quieter this morning. A little quiet. A little quiet. But uh, Amagon, thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. Um, stream just started. Asterix. So literally just finished some prep. Just uh, warming up this morning to my chess.com coffee mug just poured some uh great new coffee from a local roastery sitting here my zojirushi staying nice and toasty warm and uh one day i'll have a video that has proper music so i can upload it so danny can see that i love my chess.com mug <laughs> but we'll see how it goes i'm pretty excited about this pretzel thing we'll go there now yeah 11 a.m i'm in i probably stream for about an hour hour and a half 
nothing crazy today. I have one goal, which is I promised someone on GitHub that I would actually finish Monkey Cash, ship a V1, get it going. So we'll see if I can actually do that this morning. I messed around with it a little bit yesterday, but I need to make sure the configuration's good. It's still working and I wanna add a few features to it too. Um, so that's what we're gonna try to do today as I wake up to my coffee. Literally just woke up maybe an hour ago. I think probably Fritz is uh, partying over there. I should probably uh, do a little tweet action over here. Let me do that so people know I'm streaming. Um, let me know if the music volume is okay or not too. I can totally adjust that. Rise and shine to some live coding with me. Finishing hashtag monkey cash. The ultimate net caching library. Boom. Tweet it to the people. So this is called the chill station. This is a little bit intense for me. There's, let's see, a hype station, pop, ambient, upbeat, happy. Let's try ambient. Let's see what that does. Hmm. I don't think I like that. Um, let's go back to chill. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Okay, cool. So let's give it a look-sees over here. I'm actually pretty intrigued. I don't know why my stream deck is acting all. That's correct. Did that work? Oh, there's my stream deck. I don't know if you've ever messed around with stream deck. It was pretty, pretty rad. So, okay. So let's do this here. Uh, we're going to go over to GitHub. Oh, and also, I just last night got uh, Twitch affiliate status. So that's super rad. Uh, now, I haven't activated it yet, so you can't be like subscribing or getting bits and boops and a bunch of cool stuff. But I totally have that going on, which is really cool. Uh, let's see here. Repositories. Oh, Monkey Cash. See, I totally did some stuff two, day two days ago, it says. Uh, in a branch. I'm in this feature core. No, fe issue 35. There we go. I even did a pull request. Look at that. So I'm going to figure out why this morning this PR failed inside of Azure DevOps. Uh, well, I guess if you don't know what Monkey Cash is, the whole premise is to have a very simplistic way of caching uh, information that's, that's there. Uh, real simple. Nothing too, too crazy. Um, that's, that's the idea. So uh, I talked about a bunch of different things like 50 episodes ago on, 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 uh, on Merge Conflict over here. Does it still work? It does. Everyone you can't solve everyone's problems. So I solved it myself by creating my own. And this thing supports everything. Just, it just supports everything under the sun, to be honest with you. And here it has some information like unique application ID and then um, real simplistic. So you can give it some monkeys and get some monkeys. It's just real, real simple, back and forth. Um, and you can even give it generic URLs, do a bunch of other things. So you could be like, oh, let me cache this URL in time and space. So it's a kind of a nice way of saying like, oh, force refresh or only live for so long. It's too loud. Uh-oh. Perfect. That's what I wanted to know. So now we're at two. How's this, Andrew? A, a Herrick? I think it's Andrew, maybe. Is this better? That's what I want to know. So these are the these are the things that I need to know. I can also do this. Let's see. How's this? Better? See, that's what I this is perfect. Alright, so let me know now. It's hard to focus. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's see. How's that? Better? Cool. I want it to be like super chill. Like so you can totally hear me. No problems there. And that's what I want to know. That that's better. That's good. I'm just going to wait for everyone to... Well, now the music stops, so... Let's go then. Um, I like that song. Like, thumbs up that song. This is better. This is good to go. Give it a thumbs up. 
Okay, these thumbs. Okay, that should be good. Okay, better now. Perfect, 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 perfect. All right, just let me know if you want me to adjust the music at all. I totally should have adjusted it. My my audio should be ideally much, much louder coming out. So let me know if that's any issue at all. But I love you, and I'm here for you, and that's, that's it. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. I'm also talking a little bit quieter this morning. It is a little early here. So this is Monkey Cash. Um, you can empty your data. And you can see just ex expired data. You can do a bunch of stuff. I even document like exactly where I'm going to output everything for Mac, iOS, UWP, .NET Core, wherever you're going to do stuff. Now, there was two requests inside of here that I really want to address. Uh, maybe not this one. Oh, where is it at? Um, yeah, I'm going to reopen this one because it's open on my birthday. I'm going to reopen it. Um, going to implement this. Going to implement this today. So. The big thing here is that I previously would just always put it in a cache folder and on iOS, I can cause a problem because uh, on iOS, sometimes if you just update your app, the cache goes away. So the cache, it's not going to live as long as you would like. But to me, that's the idea of monkey cache is that the cache can go and live and doesn't really matter. So the first thing is I implemented some JSON setting properties last or last night, yesterday. Uh, I also update this a public pri uh, project, so you can just go to this dev.azure.com slash my name slash monkey cash. You can see everything, which is really cool. Um, and then I added it so you could pass in your own JSON properties. This, this does have a weird JSON.net dependency, and I'll kind of walk through that a little bit, but let me launch Visual Studio. Yeah, now, now the music is literally at the, as low as possible, 2%. I want to get 1%. No, it won't let me. That's as low as it'll get. It'd be cool to control. Hmm. It'd be really cool to kind of control the music at a different level, but this is like stream approved music. That's what I'm going for. Okay, so I don't have monkey cash here. Let's go and grab it. Uh, I'm going to my Team Explorer. I made a promise to myself about... Um, a year ago that I said I was going to use only only the Team Explorer inside of Visual Studio to do all my Git. And I, I've adjusted to it 100%. Pretty excited about it. Mm -hmm. How's everyone's morning going? Is it going great? Where, where we got? We got East Coast. I know that so far. We do have some Twitch Prime members. Welcome to the party. Now, someone might be wondering, why did it just take so long to get all my Git stuff right there? Well, it's because it has like all the Microsoft stuff on there too. Monkey cash, monkey. I just type my monkey. I just love that I get a bunch of monkey things. So there's monkey cash. Let's clone that. Mm. Perfect. Okay. And then I'm over in, let's manage branches. I am in issue 35. Cool. And let's go to dev.azure.com. Should probably log in. How do I log into this website? Sign in. Go, 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 signing in. All right, guys, so there's me. There's Monkey Cash, and I should have a build pipeline here. I'm not sure why this failed. Hmm. Oh. I had some issue with JSON.net. I think that's what was my issues here. See, it has like some weird circular dependency that I, I had. That's not good. Mm. Let's open this puppy up. Let's see what we're working with now that we're on this feature branch. Mm. 
Mm. I also switched away from using my own personal machine. I'm just using all all Azure DevOps VMs, which is uh, a blessing. Like, there's so many uh, pipelines that you can do at the same time, which is phenomenal. Ooh, it's very upset about something. Oh, um, could not find SDK target 21 in monkey cache. All right, I'm gonna wait for it to get loading. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so all test projects, more test projects, so many test projects. So let's edit this thing. 21, what did I do? Why did I do Android 21? Let's do, um. what are my dependencies? Classic James is doing weird things for no reason. It's like no reason why. Let's do 7.1. I think that's a better option. And for the heck of it, we can just do I don't know, 8.02 for, for some reason. I wonder if I can also ship this for watch and tvOS. Let's give that a try, just for funsies. This should be TV. Um, maybe watch OS. Is that what it is? I think it is. Let's look at when in doubt, look at essentials. Oh, no, not essentials. Look at settings plugin. When in doubt, basically, my settings plugin has everything in it forever so cs Proj, mono android tv os watch os cool all right see oh it, look at how mad it is it's totally mad at it mm. Mm -hmm. so if i just search for 10.0.2 mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's when you go into open with code. There's some things that a code editor or a file editor is better for because it searches for everything. Look at all those references. Tisk, tisk, tisk. I'm way Ooh. Up, I feel blessed. Hey, sh shoot, shootin'. Thanks for the follow. I really appreciate that. Trying to get more active on this live stream shenanigans. So here I'm just going to do version equals. Yeah, and eventually if I get rid of, uh, if I upgrade to the premium of this pretzel rocks, then it will um, it will not do this, this 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 updating all the time, which I think is cool, but also maybe not cool if no one's really talking. So that kind of is the dilemma. So let's go ahead and just do version 11.0.2. Let's replace it. Such a good replace UI. Mm, like I don't have anything installed. It's good. Cool. Um, this probably will just work as is. On all of these other ones, I should probably check the file store. Let's oh, see, I need to synchronize all these. So, so they're the same across all of them. So let's do that. Let's make sure that I see if I was if I was a young, better whippersnapper, I would create reusable project things or whatnot and add them in. But you know, I just like the hard code stuff. Why not? What does uh, Essentials do? That's what I want to see for, for Android before I toggle this over. When in doubt, look exactly what Essentials does. So we do 718081. So let's just copy that, because why not? Doesn't Literally doesn't hurt anything. There's no difference occurring here at all. Ooh, Lee Dot asks. Ooh. 
this. Schmel Ooh, these are some hard, hard Twitch names. I'll call you Hoot. Hoot, thanks for the follow. I really appreciate that. It's getting my follower count out. Boom. One day. And Drake appreciates it too. Drake gets real excited. Do I find it difficult to maintain all these projects? Absolutely. Um, that is one of the hardest things to do. Um, uh, and I would say like my, a lot of my job and focus has shifted too. Uh, not a, like away from creating and maintaining open source libraries, but it's a little bit less of what I do on a day to day. More I'm trying to focus on the product, making the product better. So um, I have a little bit less time to do that. However, my end and all goal is that Xamarin Essentials takes over almost all my heavy lifting because it's almost all of my uh, plugins. So ideally, once Xamarin Essential comes out, I can start to take a dependency on Xamarin Essentials for all my projects um, and go go from there. Whoa, loose, cool. Did you, I think you tweeted that out, right? The the coaster. I have one more thing for you too. It's it might be really expensive to ship to the UK, but um, it's pretty exclusive and pretty rad. I think that you would be the only one that appreciates it. So, um, so I'll see one time I get that over to you, or if you come back to Seattle. Uh, but sitting over there. Also, by the way, everyone should have emojis in their <laughs> in their titles, which would be pretty fan fantastical. Um, I also don't like that there's. I don't know if we want I can this is kind of cool I can toggle off um I can do instrument only it'll only do instruments I never it won't do any anything like that I, I find it really I don't know did it do it yeah see CC CC do you love me are you riding oh, that's good this one says CC too C See, monkey cash, monkey see cash, cash, cash do, cash. Okay, looks good. C, C, looks good. So you're like, whoa, James, what are you doing? Well, for some reason I was like, oh, let me just, you know, create a, a SQLite database. And then someone's like, well, maybe LightDB is better. And then maybe the file store is better. So we have so many implementations of everything to do this. Just stupid, stupid James. Um, but what are you going to do? What you going to do? Um, so what the, let's see if this will just fix it. I think last time I didn't even compile it. I was just like, oh, I'll just run it. This will be great. So yeah, so it is relatively difficult to maintain all of them. I have focus and priority definitely on some over the other one. So like if I go to NuGet, right, and I type in my name. Um, so some of them are like way more important than others because they're used by so many more people. So like, I have to be very careful about the changes I make dependencies that they have. So anytime I make changes to these top three, very, um, important, the current activities, even though it's a million installs, not much. And then media is the worst. It's the hardest. And that'll go on essentials eventually. MVVM helpers, like, um, I would like. That's just mine, so I just do it for me, but people use it and I recommend it. Then everything else is just falls by the wayside, really, because like Vibrate doesn't change. You know, a lot of these things don't change. I will say like in-app billing is the hardest one to maintain. These don't change. There's Monkey Cash, Monkey Cash. Ooh, 22,000 installs, nice. So most of those things don't change, you know, in general. But um, this is one of my favorite plugins I ever wrote, Store Review. That was a good one. Um, well, Segways, that has some stuff. So yeah, 34 packages. But like I said, if we go through these, let's see, goes away, stays around, goes away, goes away, goes away for V1 release. And it's not going to go away. It'll just have a dependency. Um, stays, goes away. This will stay around. Oh, goes away because we do all this. Goes away, goes away. Uh, vibrate, goes away. Inet billing stays. Version tracker gone. Battery gone. See what I did there? I just like compass gone. Just remove everything. <laughs> That's my goal. That was my goal. My goal was to make amazing toolkit for developers, obviously, but yeah. <laughs> that is the, the end all be all goal. Is that eight seconds? I think it's eight seconds. Okay, so let's see. Oh, that looks good. Um 
do it clean. Why is it so mad? <sighs> Ooh. It doesn't, can't say between time span. What? Oh. Huh. That's interesting. Do I have one with the serializer and one without the serializer? Why do I have that? <gasps> oh. Oh, no. Oh, no, people. Let's look at my eye barrel. So I previously had these two things. And this one has a JSON serializer that you can pass in. But it's generic, so you can pass it any data, not just a string. But this could be a string, so that, then it doesn't know. Hmm. Hmm. How to fix. Can I just make another one that... doesn't do that, and then it would know to pick that one first. So yeah, see, it's like URL, data is JSON, so it's a good test. So here, does it still not four overloads? Still doesn't know what to pick. Hmm, this is an interesting conundrum. So what I could do is make it so this is null, but this is like not null, right? Like that could that could probably work. Then it knows to call that. There we go. Yeah. So it's never gonna know. <laughs> No, it'll know. It'll know. It'll know because if it if it picks string, it should know ahead of time. But yeah, so it should know here that <clears throat> option one would be I pass in an e tag. Option two, well, it's not gonna let me do that. So I could be like, all right, well, if you really want that, you have to pass. If you want that, you gotta pass in everything. So that's an option. So then here, <clears throat> this is gonna pick the add. But then I could do an e tag. So I could say tag. And then this should still pick the string version of it. Oh, this works. Oh, wait. Um, named arguments. Oh. It's going to be e tag. Oop. Why would you have the non generic? Yes. So. The difference here, that's a good question. Oh, I see what you're saying. So if it is a string, make it a string. Mm. Okay, so in my, mm, that's a good question. So the only thing that's different is I use, like if it's not a string, I deserialize it. So if it's just an object, that's the idea. Like this is an object, not a, not a, um, yeah. So the idea is that like, this could be like a, a person and then it serializes the string, but I could say if it is a string, I could do, I see what you're saying, like do this. JSON serialization settings like that, right? And this could equal null because you don't need them. Just passing all the arguments. 
then what we could do in the barrel is we could say, how do I get the data type? Mm. Um, I do this in settings plugin. See, look at this paired coding. So if I do, yeah, so the previous stream wasn't available because the music I was using had some issues and also there were some passwords and some other things in the stream. So I'm really working on figuring out how to make it so it's reusable, but I do have it downloaded. So I'm trying to edit it and put it on YouTube um, if it'll let me. So we will see. But yes, but yes, I have to be more careful in the future ahead of time. Um, so let's see here. So what I should be able to do here is say, I should be able to say like this. I could do this inside of a generic barrel. Where's my utils? Internal static bool is string. I didn't finish it, I got really close. Um, I got really close, let's just say that. So here I should be able to say type of, type of T. Then I should be able to say if, get the type code here. So I can then return type code equals equals string. So if it equals a string, we don't need to serialize anything, right? It's just a string. That would be the goal. Um, yeah, I think me to manager I'll come back to. I just need to move some things around and do some things, but it's getting closer to working and that's important. So here I'm gonna get the type of T See if it's generic type or if it's nullable, grab it out. If it is a string, grab the underlying type and go from there. So this is my idea. And then ideally I could say var data JSON, right? And then I could say if utils dot is string, data then data json data as string what's it mad at oh, string else like that oh it's, i don't even need to do what's it doing here there we go Optional, do you usually prefer nullable parameters over extra method overloads? Mm. Well, I don't know if it matters, right? It's like, so you, you could do either of these technically. Like I could do the add where it takes in the JSON thing and people could then, I guess the difference is people could still pass in a string like into here, like they could do that and then also do it. It's like in this test, right, I could have done so let's say I added this back, right? And I remove this, which is like what I was thinking of doing. Okay. So like these would pick, but then, but then I could go into my tests and like, this is currently picking the correct one, but I could have done then JSON settings. And then I could have done like new JSON settings, right? And now it'll actually, pass it a string and it will serialize that string, which it doesn't need to because I'm just storing a string. So it's actually better in a way, I think, <laughs> I think so. I think, 
I think. I'm not sure yet. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really hurt to do it either way. Like, I could do this. Well, that's the thing is the E tags are optional. So I don't know if it matters. You know, it's like, it depends. Like, if you don't think your API is going to grow, then good. Like, if if e tag was optional always, then it would make sense to do it. But now, like now, once I made it null, like this has to be nullable. So, if I wanted to change the data contract completely, then I think that would kind of stink, to be honest with you. But and then same thing here on the get. I could probably get rid of this one. Mm -hmm. And then go from there. Let's see. So. There we go. If utils is string, grab the data as a string. And then I need to look at my get. Mm-hmm. And then I should be able to say if boot oh key key key. What do I have two gets? Oh, one is just to pass in the is generic. So it could be like an object. Oh, interesting. Oh yes, yeah, so I need to do this. I need to be like okay if utils dot is string result then I need to return get key there we go so just if it is a string just get the string then make these internal that's totally fine then um, ST. Mm. Hmm. How do I do that? Oh, I can just do sub t which we know is a string hmm hmm oh I think I could do this I could be like result equals get key key return result Boop. silly so silly there we go uh you should be able to hear the music playing and i can validate it really quick let's see Test it on my on my Surface Go. <laughs> oh, it doesn't like this. Oh, get key. Get. That should work. Hmm. Yeah, I have music here. Music's working for me, so on my test bed. So you're saying you have to specify, uh. Mm, yeah, but it might not be a class. Oh. Yeah, so I'm just complicating this. Like I should probably just like leave it how I had it. And then 
make it so oh can you do inside of here so where oh oh yeah so i'm is this what i would do the last Let's see, method, interface, interface, method, where T. I always get confused on this stuff. Hmm. I can do it there. I don't know what the syntax is. Oh, see, it's, oh, where? T new where T like that like that how's that so I guess that would be saying that it has to be a class question mark Or new T. But you think that if I do this, oh no, it doesn't like that. It's just like that. I hate generic sometimes. The two sometimes it's stuff's way too hard to figure out. Oh man. Hmm. There we go. Where? Where T system delegate. That's a class. Where T unmanage, where T new. I'm about to go to the docs. That's where docs docs come to the rescue. Oh, this is saying where T is is that. Where T is my interface, where is T? Notice that the syntax card parameter delegates the same as the method. Hmm. It has to be a class. But what if they want to just do an int, like an integer? Well, they shouldn't put it there to begin with. But I see what you're saying. Oh, I see. So you can use string, but you can't use string. <laughs> oh, I see. Interesting. Oh, peculiar. So maybe I can just leave the string one then, because then I just do that, right? And then leave the, the get, too. And then here would be the same thing. Because that's the idea, so that has to be a, a class of some type. And then you could serialize it as you want, but you should just probably use a string, as I highly recommend. So that could be it. This is good. Paired coding. So then I don't need this stuff. Get out of here. Then I go back to my barrel and undo everything I just did. Ideally. So I didn't want to do that. Okay, and then here, um, will it just fix it for me? Change signature? No, that's not what I wanted. I don't know what that does. Do I have to? Or do I have to say on the method? Oh, and to answer your question about the music, Hoot, um, yeah, so the the idea is I'm just trying to some different background music providers because it's a little bit uh, hard sometimes to get it working so I can play music, be entertained. Um, let's see here. So the constraint of type T method must match the constraint method parameter T. I think you have to add the same constraint. Hmm. No. 
Like that. Indeed. I love it. I love it. It's a very, it's not the most <clears throat> elegant looking method in the world, but if that works, that works. I can go to my barrel test. Mmm. See, it still doesn't know. And this is the problem. <clears throat> See, it still wants to <clears throat> use I add, even though we just said like it has to be a class. But I guess a string is a class, technically. I mean, a string is a class. So I don't know if that actually changes anything. You know what I mean? So, hmm. What I could do is do this, add object. <laughs> Just change the name of it, right? So, like, add object. Get object. I'm way up I feel, feel blessed. blessed. Honker, thanks for the uh, follow there. Appreciate that. I uh, appreciate that. Hmm. Because, yeah, that we get the same problem, right? We get the same problem, which is it doesn't know what to do here. Before, it knew what to do because it was matching parameters. So it was just like, oh, I'll just pick the string one because it makes the most sense. But now it still doesn't know what to do. Hmm. I mean, I believe that this is the correct thing to do in general. Because if I was to do, let's say, barrel.add, and then I could say, like, URL one time span from days, and did one, right? This should, but yeah, it's going to pass it an int because it's a generic parameter. But I don't know if it actually, that's a struct. Hmm. <laughs> where it's my interface, where it's new. This is it's the same as the method. Hmm. Oh, where T is class. I think you do this. That's what you do. Boom, just like that. So now it has to be a class. See? Uh, uh, uh. This is like, no, I can't do it because it can't be a class. You can new a struct. See, it must be a reference type in order to use it as a parameter. Oh gosh, I've just completely messed up this entire thing now, haven't I? I'm sure this other one is mad too. It's like this is string. Do I have the object? Null test. It's a monkey. That does work. Th those work. Hmm. Hmm. See, it's interesting. The call is ambiguous between that and that. All right, people, that's what we're doing. We're just going to make it happy. Just making it happy. Just going to duplicate it. Just make it happy. And I think, I wonder if my gets are mad too, or if it knows. Like very curious if I do get to key, it knows what to do. That's good, because it's gonna be a string. But if I do get here, it's going to be that. Because if I don't do that, it's going to get a monkey, right? 
which would not be equal. It's ambiguous between that and that. Oh. Hmm. So now it's like, I don't know what to use. Oh my god, this is a conundrum. This is a conundrum. Hmm. I was like, maybe I could just be like, it is a string. <laughs> In a world where I was like, maybe that would be good. Um, I think I could go back to the one method, maybe. I don't know. It seems like that's even more tedious for people, though. If it is this, the, this, the get is hard because it's like, what is it coming back? I could just do a breaking change. That's probably the best bet here. Is that it, it's add or add object add i don't know if that's the best best name for it but i think here this like this should almost be add object you just add an object and get object that way they're completely different hey carlo <sighs> get get object, get add object, get object. Those match, right? You're going to do it. You're going to get a key. <clears throat> I think that's the best thing to do. I believe that this is the best thing to do for the greater good. Add object, get object. Add object. We're going to return an object. That's the best we're going to do here. We're going to put this out and see how this goes. Okay. So, this means that in all my barrels, this needs to be get object. Oh, I already like this song a lot. Get, let's add object. Just, they're different methods. They do different things. So, they should be called different. <laughs> they should get, get and set different. They're different things. I'm, I'm convinced. You can't unconvince me. Sorry. It's happening. That's also interesting that I... Parameter. Oh, yeah, I need to not put that in there, I think. Get rid of this, and then... Oh, I could do that. Yeah, I could do... I'll just leave it off. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. For now, we're just going to leave it off. Just this complexity it kills me. It kills me. All right, um, that should go away. There we go. And then get object. And one more barrel, one more barrel. Add, add object. Get. Get object. <laughs> So now, probably in all of my tests, this should be add object, get object, 
get object, add object, get object. See, that's pretty important. I mean, it could be null. I mean, it's going to do different things. Uh, then here I can do a sub. That's interesting. Because it doesn't know what it is. So probably bad. Monkey. There we go. I guess it doesn't, if it's null. Hmm. Like, I wonder if, if I do that, it allows that then. Indeed. Oh no, it doesn't. It still doesn't know what this is. So it's like, oh, you can't inferred. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it's like, you have to give me something. Give me something. Just wanted to see, like, oh, it's an object, but it's no object. All right, cool. Oh gosh. Get add add get breaking little breaking change, no big deal. But ideally not a big deal. <laughs> All right. Let's clean up cleaning up some code. Let's see if it'll be smart enough to do some expression body methods everywhere. I think I tried this before and it was like it takes too long. Um, let's see, what do we have left? We have an add here that does that. And then also an add here. Let's see if this builds. Oh, one more. Where is it at? Oh, add. <laughs> it's like, I don't know what to do. There we go. Affiliate monkey. Oh, nice a little .NET bot. I think yeah. Eventually, I'm gonna have. I think we're gonna put bananas in there, as like my go-to monkey. We gotta get a nice photo shoot going on. Have a few different monkey emotes. Although I don't know Twitch affiliate verse verse partner. I'm not sure how many. Let's see, joining the affiliate program. There's like a nice breakdown somewhere of like what you can do. Here you go. So. That's my, there we go, there we go. So, so you can have, you can share with bits. I get one sub emote. Game sales, yes. VOD storage, 14 days. These are like all the different things. There's that, that stuff. So yeah, I get one sub emote. So I gotta pick careful what I'm putting in there. <laughs> That's for sure. Oh, um, all right. So yeah, this is now, these are my main pages. Oh, wow. This definitely trickled, trickled throughout. Object. Lots of tests. Oh, this is the encryptions test. Stupid. I really need, should have changed to X unit, probably. Too late now. Fix up all my tests. I think this is actually better, but for the greater good. Should be add object of I enumerable monkey. There we go. Add said monkey, get object. Add get. So 
lot of testing of <laughs> said just monkey. It's the encryption test because you can optionally encrypt stuff with some of them. Let's see if this builds now. Get current. I think this is add. Yeah, I'm using so press oh, computer Chrome. Oh, computer is freezing up. See how many frames I drop here? So this is what I'm using, pretzel, pretzel.rocks. And then you can stream stuff, and you can also become a premium member. I think here you get like custom URL, which is cool, because then you can put it in there. Um, see, there's a chat attribution, which I think is fine, because you're streaming stuff, but access channel. It's not too bad, 120 bucks a year for music. Oh, come on. It's very upset about something. What are the light DB one? Metadale for light DB. Did I mess something up here? Unsupported. Ooh, I, t I must have typoed something. Net standard, watch TVOS. Oh. Yep. Kind of accidentally added all these things to it. Whoops. That would that would definitely do it. <laughs> Zero, yeah, twenty years. It's like Bleh. it makes you feel good about yourself. You're like, oh, look at that. Okay, crushed all those bugs. And especially when Visual Studio just completely locks on you, you're like, oh, that's great. Should see um, the other device here. I should do some device testing too, probably. Let's see here. Am I? There it is. A blue over here. That's the one. device out. Did it still not like it? Hmm. Oh, there we go. Uh, I don't know what this is. Oh, I wonder what jars I have. I should have all these. Monkey test Android. Oh, test Android. What is this compiling against? Probably something I don't have. No, I have it. Let's just do eight one, I guess. That's fine. Doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. I have all those installed. Perfect. And KitKat for some reason. Why not? I refuse to install 28 so far. <laughs> no. I mean, I just don't need it right now. But <laughs> oh, there we go. Now everything has gone away. It's very, very much happy. All right, cool. 
tests, Windows, Test Explorer. Should be able to build everything in this test folder. <laughs> Searching building. Look at that, 131 tests, 113 tests, not bad. Let's see if they'll run. Let's see if they'll run. What kind of music do we got? Um, chip tune pop, EDM, chill, epic, upbeat. Let's try happy. I'm gonna try happy out. Come on, test runner. Mm, continue, configure continuous delivery to Azure. I like that. I already did it. What is this doing? Oh, it's building stuff. Mm, 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 mm. Well, that's doing that, we'll say. Um, update to json.net, 11.0.2, and change to add object. There we go, now we're running. Run it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, some of these are really long with these big threads. Performance tests, that's good. I even have HTTP tests, that's interesting. This adds a thousand records. Interesting, with duplicates. Much performance, much tests. There we go. I'm gonna be being a good developer. All these tests, I love it. So while that's running, we should look at our Azure DevOps and that should be fixed. Look at my build definition. I did, I did make a breaking change from what I have currently, which is a preview of 1.0, but I think I'll just leave it the same, but have some variables, so technically the next version, we can just do 2.0, doesn't matter, in case people are using it and are like, oh my goodness. That'll get triggered there. And that'll go into my pipeline. All my tests. That's good. Let's save it. Uh, with your version control to try to keep commits to per change. Mm, I think because, well, this project's very different than, let's say, Essentials. We try to keep commits and pull requests very tight, um, where my versioning here is very much like whenever I do a push to public NuGet, then I change versions, basically because I can just come in and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna change it. And then I bump these version numbers, then everything resets. So that way, like, um, like my get would be two dot, 
like the first the first thing that my get will get would be like 2.0.0.1 uh pre you know beta but then the other one would get 2.0.0 cuz how i do it in my tasks is the beta version that goes to my get gets the build number but the public stuff gets next version so it only gets the truncated stuff this finish almost done Last performance test. Cool. So let's go ahead and push this. That should trigger a build, I think. I think. Let's see. Ideally, okay. Pending in progress. Cool. So I think if I refresh, I don't know why it doesn't refresh. Sometimes it's just, there we go. This should be in progress. View build results. Give it a go. Give it a look -sees. Ideally, I should be able to build all these really fast. I like this new UI is so much better. It's so pleasant. It's very, very nice. I'm all about it. Um, Although, how much how long did this take last time? It doesn't cache the... This one's the... Let's see if it's fast. Nougat Restore. Oh, it took like forever. It says it took seven minutes. Oh my goodness. That doesn't seem correct. 441. Am I forcing it to that? That's interesting. But yeah, install a specific version, Nougat. That's interesting. Nougat versions. Nougat version. Mm, that's not what I wanted. So we're on like 481. Recommended 471. Let's try that. Maybe that's faster in whatever it's doing. Tasks. Seven one seven one saving Q What I love is that um I can now do so many at the same time. Like the other one's still building, but so is this one. So it's like, oh cool, we're just gonna build these side by side. <laughs> so many hosted. You get ten. Like yes. That's like pretty much amazing. Let's see here. Let's see, saving. Yeah, if it's faster, that'd be nicer, I think. But. Oh, that's doing master. Of course it is. Because I didn't tell it to do my branch. Stop that build. This one's doing. Wait, why is that doing master? Oh, it's doing this PR. Yeah, that's correct.
think I can do a new build for it. Ref slash feature slash issue 35. That is not it. Oh. Does do pull request? Hmm. How come I don't know what to build? It's a good question. Well, I mean, this is just gonna continue to go. So let's just refresh it, I guess. That's funny. That's fine. As we mess around and wait for it. I don't know why the NuGet Restore is so slow though. You know, NuGet Restore. The issue here is that um, command line stuff that will do the restore includes MS this. No oh, gosh. So it's, it's by default, depending on how many projects you have. New command line, specify project to project, timeout 20. I wonder if I can do this. I want faster new get restores. Let's mess around with it. New get restore on restore. <clears throat> that works the new get custom might as well test it out see if we can get the new get restores down that's really interesting though yeah i know that it uh, That's why I was using my own because I would new get restore really, really fast. Like, oh, I can just new get restore like super fast if I. Oh, yeah, that's not. <laughs> uh, yeah, probably not what I wanted. Hmm. Oh, I see. I would do. that let's try that do, 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 do. you did get here a little late it's uh I'm almost almost finished i'm just trying to get this thing working and going i'm trying to get my build faster now even though technically this one's probably almost done see it already new get restored i'm trying to get this time down because i want that to be faster once this kicks off it should be fast to start building stuff but Shouldn't take seven minutes to build. That's my, <laughs> that's my uh, my goal. Let's see if this uh, fixes it. Four seven one. Nope. Nuget command failed. Oh, that's what I. I'm just guessing at commands. That's what I'm. That's what I'm doing here. It's like let me just guess at commands. Nope, I need to restore this project. There we go. And my big thing is I I'm a, I think it is trying to download a lot of the Windows 10 specific SDKs. I think that's the big problem that takes the NuGet resource. It's like a gig download for UWP things. 
uh, if you're building those things. I think if it's just a .NET standard library, it's like whew, super fast. Because I was building one the other day and it was super quick, so I don't know why. Let's see if I got my command correct. So project to project timeout. We're just going to test this and see if it's faster. Oh no! Banana.cs error. The type attribute is not defined in assembly. That is not referenced. You must add a. What is that? Shared. Huh. What? How is it mad? I don't understand. What was it trying to build? So it built, built monkey cache just fine. Error, the type attribute is defined in assembly that is not referenced. Shared. Where is attribute at? Oh, interesting. Well, I wonder if this doesn't support different project types. Like, I wonder if it doesn't support. Whoa. Wow, what is that? That's weird. The Mac version has weird problem. Oh, probably. Huh. Oh, I thought I f did some cleanup here. Hmm. That sucks. That's interesting that it can't do it. I wonder what I'll do if it'll do this. Doesn't know it's add net, net standard. Lighty, I wonder if the SQL light one has the same problem. Mm -hmm, same problem. Add this reference. Hmm. Net standard. So I bet if I do where's my reference? Oh geez. I wonder if I do edit. And in here, I do, if this equals Mac OS, is that even a thing? Include net standard. That's kind of weird that it didn't build, it built though. Um, I do not understand that. Net standard. You must add a reference to net standard. Like, I wonder if I ran the test and it was like, I only run, need to build the specific things. It's like, oh, this is totally fine. Oh, did it do it? Hmm. Oh, that must have done it then. That is weird. Okay. You go to old Mac OS, always seems to have some weird issues. Of course. Oh, um. I should also 
Oh, interesting. I think that perhaps I need to make sure I change this stuff too in these files. Edit. Yep. I was not doing this. That's what happened, probably. That is probably what happened. Remove this. Make sure these are multi-targeted correctly. They are not. Make those that project type. Remove this. <clears throat> Remove this. And edit this and do the same thing. There we go. Remove this and remove this. Oh, you know what I should also do? Should also see what the current versions of things are. So if I go into manage NuGet package, it's going to be, oh, geez. Oh, geez. Like uh, updates. So LightDB is 414. Oops. Let's do that. What's a loyalty badge? I don't even know what that is. I, I'm so new to Twitch, I have no idea what that is. Loyalty badge. Explain, link me. And by link me, you can't link me, but I know how to do mod stuff. Is it a Twitch thing? Twitch loyal loyalty badges. Subscriber badge guide. Oh, I think that's like once I get the badges. Oh, are those those little icons like the coffee cups that uh, Fritz has? <laughs> oh yeah so the, i'm definitely going to do those different subscriber tiers and then i'll have emotes too that's funny i'll do i'll definitely do that I saw Fritz had those different coffee cups. Might be way better than that, though. Psh. Way better. It's going to update all these things. Why not? Did not install. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Um, you just edit. Six dot one dot seven. Okay, and then this one too. There we go. It's like it doesn't know how to do the conditional stuff yet, unfortunately. So when you have a condition on your new gets, you have to do that manually, which is kind of a pain in the in the butt. But uh, what are you gonna do? What you gonna do? Um, oh, these. Uh, there we go. All right, Nuga. Nuga wants to refresh. We got it. All right. 
come on. I'm going to skip some frames because my computer is locking up. That's great. So now uh, these should be okay to update. Just that one should do it. 617. Yeah, it seems like my frames go up and down a little bit just whenever Visual Studio is like, oh, I don't know what to do. What are you going to do? That's the internet. So let's update this stuff. Let's use that new hotness. I want that 215 new hotness. Nope, can't do that yet. So, .NET SDK. Mm -hmm. Install all the nougats. Code coverage. Hmm, interesting. I should do a code coverage on this thing, probably, and actually see how well all my stuff is at at, at the end of the day. Let's see if I got any text from the love. Update this test adapter. Might as well get all the new hotness. Oh, my buddy Michael texted me. Oh, I hate to. Hey, go to. How's it going? Just trying to update some nougats here before I crush it. Coming in at the end of the stream, but that's okay. It's okay. It happens. Life happens. The streams. So I got to follow. Got to follow. Got to make sure you get those notifications. Does this thing work if I just update it? Do I have to do anything? Ooh. Oh yeah, I don't think it does that. It's like, oh, it needs to be Netcore two one app. That's interesting. How do I do? Edit. So I could do one dot five dot one. Does that work? Just up to just updating stuff to dot Netcore two one for no reason. Why not? Consolidate. Oh. Done at core app. These are all test files. Oh, I see. I'm just going to move it. I'm going to leave it as is for now, I think. That's what I want. All right. Okay. So now we've updated things. And I'm going to double check this banana. OK, so that should work now. Light DB and then file store, SQLite, Mac. How about tvOS? Good. WatchOS, good. Save all, fix attributes, bump, nougats, and fix attributes. Let's just double check everything here, make sure everything is gravy. On the dependencies, add that condition, remove that dependency. LightDB should have a dependency on a new light DB version. Okay. Same here. This should bump the SQLite net. Cool. Let's see here. Oh, that's yeah, it still failed. That's good. Oh, my NuGet restore took 35 seconds. That's much, much faster. 
That's funny. This took four minutes, though. That's and then everything else is super fast. Interesting. Why did that take so long? It's weird that. Oh, next ver. Oh, crap. I totally messed up my next version. Next up. Oh. Next version. Next version. Next version. Next version. Next version. Next version. Ooh. Hey, Linger, thank you for the follow, Lance. I appreciate that. I wish I could, it would let me pick what I was, what, what, what if I could queue something, you know? Like, queue a previous build. Like, because here, this is garbage now it's gonna fail oh but I think if I just requeue this one it'll do it it'll like oh it does refs pool 36 merge Q there we go so there we go it's only half the problem. I was gonna implement the other thing, but then I didn't. Ugh. The other thing I wanted to try to implement was, if I look at my, ben not my banana, but my barrel, and every barrel, I have a, an application ID, and I use that in a few places, like when I get the base directory. So the idea is that the other idea is that we could also set a So I have get path. And what I wanted to do is pass it an application ID and a path, potential path. That's an easier fix. Like people are like, oh, I want to put it in my own space. I don't want to put it in the the cacheter. And like I let them I'll let them mess it up. <laughs> I'll still combine these things together to get the path, but root path is what I'm thinking. So that's a lot faster. I don't know how I did it, but it did it get everything. See, I don't think it actually installed everything there. I don't. I think it it's it like took it down to this. Like the first time this is actually doing it. I think it's doing a NuGet restore. So I think I should probably just leave it as is and not do a custom, just do a restore. Let it just do its thing. It doesn't matter now. Let's see if this builds. This should build. This should build. I have faith in this one. So then what we could do is jump back over to a new branch. Monkey cash. And <laughs> it, Azure DevOps is a lot is really nice to use. I'm really into it. Issue 34. So I can do off of master. Feature slash issue 34. 
and then here, yeah, I just think like the the new UI that they put together is is very slick and it makes it feel fresh and you know it has very it's you know it sits on top of VSTS and all that jazz, but it's like it feels feels great and that's what is important to me. Well, that's good. It took two minutes. Good. It's not too bad. Maybe my custom script was good then, because that's not bad. Hmm. I'm going to set it back to my custom, I guess, because that seems to have been good. I don't know. Maybe it just pushes it off to this. I do a restore anyway, so maybe it's not really important. So, um, okay. So what I want to do, that's going to be very mad at me. Okay. So, okay. Calm down. You know, what, I'm going to delete. I'm going to go back to master. I'm just going to wait until I delete. I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to wait until it's done. Pull it in. <laughs> this is funny. I was reading Twitter now, and Brian is like talking about monkey cash. He's like, let me guess, all static classes with no interfaces. No, there is actually an iBanana. <laughs> All right, appease Brian. It's a very shim interface that I implement everywhere, but it's okay. Brian, still still salty. That's okay. Ugh. Why is this not building? Oh, I see. It's file store beta. Oh, wow. Okay. Um... I think it's this Mac build again. I Ooh. Set tomorrow, so just do it. Make your dreams come true. Whoa. Is that my first first donation? Whoa, thank you so much for the donation. That's absolutely amazing. I appreciate that. Um <laughs> Oh wow, that's so cool. Uh, I didn't know if that was gonna work. That totally worked. Oh my goodness, thank you so much for uh I don't know who it was that says I love mots, but that's great. Um, yeah, thank you so much for the uh, donation. So all the donations I get on this channel go to charity. So it's pretty rad. I do appreciate it 110%. Um, <clears throat> super rad. Thank you so much. So let me see how. I think that I can fix this and build it and then call it a day on at least this issue. Be happy that we all work through this issue together. I thought I was going to get way further. I thought I was going to get way further than I did, but that did not. That was not the case. <laughs> um, I think I just need to add that stupid dependency for Mac. For some reason, it really needs it. I don't know why. Never seen that before. But it could just be because I'm using specific things. Come on, Visual Studio, wake up. Oh, I probably don't need this test explorer anymore. Get out of here. <sighs> My assumption is it was mad at the enums. Let's toggle it to Mac. I don't know what it's mad at. It's mad at something. Okay. Let's try this. Okay. 
Look at all those failures. <laughs> Should have a dashboard. Should have a dashboard. This pull, this poor, poor pull request has gone through so much. <laughs> Expected. I have faith. If we can get one good build, that would be great. <laughs> Brian, Brian gets very upset that uh, I'll tell him, like, see, if you were. Where's my chat window at? What did I? Oh, there it is. Um, Frenchie asks, "Can't wait for dark theme." I do. I, I I'm I'm anti dark theme, so that's me. <laughs> but uh, yeah. But maybe there's a preview feature at some point where they toggle it on. Like the Azure portal has things. Sometimes they have these hidden features, and I don't tell anybody. But yeah. Um, source code is on GitHub and building everything on Azure DevOps. That is correct. So. Inside of my, let's look at my pipeline. So I only use, and everything's public. So you can go to the project settings and services. You can toggle on and off the services that you want, which is cool. And then under my pipeline, uh, I can go to my edit. And here, what we'll see is that my source, you can, it's on anything, right? So you can, you can have Azure DevOps repos, GitHub Enterprise subversion, and then you just have a connection. So you just log in to whatever you want, whether it's Bitbucket or subversion or anything. Then you can tell it to report the status, you can tell it to clean, you can tell it to, you know, whatever default branch you want. On the pipeline, you can specify some parameters, but also what hosted machines you want. So these are all hosted machines. They're not my machines They're up in Azure. So I just have the hosted VS 2017 one. That's running this stuff. And ideally this should run and go. Yeah, all about it. Hey, yep. All right, let's see if this is gonna build. I'm so excited. Everyone's just watching VSTS do its thing, doing its thing. <laughs> so what I like is I'm pretty sure if you go to, let's say I have an incognito window. Like if you just go to this build, if you go to the monkey, you can see it because it's a public project. So you could just watch this. You can see all my failures. So you can see my releases. It's like I'm not logged in, right? This is public, new hot public. You can see all my releases that I've done. You can see my dashboard, which tells you nothing. Just, uh, maybe there's an overview. Probably does nothing. Oh, there is some stuff. Oh, that's cool. I do have a I do have a status. I think maybe you can see some of them, not all of them. And then I gotta see what that is. I don't have a wiki. There's that. You can see builds. You can't see like. I guess you could clone stuff to your own. Maybe, I don't know what that does. Security, you can look at that. You can't edit it or anything. I think you could, I guess you could clone and sign in. Yeah, pretty cool. All right, come on, file store. Come on, baby. Did it, did 
there we go. Now, ideally, this should all be fixed and everything, because this is just going to rebuild everything really fast. Uh, because these are these are literally not having having to rebuild anything. It's just publishing a new NuGet with a different name with the same DLLs, so it should be totally fine. So cool. So cool. Whoa, BZ. Oh, I could uh, I could link that in there. There you go. I guess I have the power. I got the power. You got the power. Busy taking Penny out for a walk. Can we come come snuggle up with the Penny P? Penny P. Do you know if there's any articles to change status icon to black? The status icon for what? Mm. In an Android application or an iOS? Like, I don't know what you're talking about. The like indicator color? I think it's like on Android, it's probably in the API. You can specify the color that you want on the badge ID for notification uh, if it comes in. I think, but I'm not really positive. But I don't know if you're talking about iOS or Android or something. I think on iOS it just does it for you. You don't have like any control, but it's a good Google question. Oh, now these are running the tests, which ideally like what I would have is probably just not actually build everything, but also test things. So this is gonna run. I feel confident that I can merge this. Uh, I should probably wait for green. <laughs> probably wait for green. But I don't want to wait for green. Mm, new vid car. What'd you get? 10. I don't know. What's the new hotness? Like NVIDIA. While we're waiting, NVIDIA. What's the, what's the hotness of an NVIDIA card right now? What's the best NVIDIA card? How do I look? How do I look this up? Can I shop? Graphics cards. Titan? Is it a Titan card? I need to know BZ. It's got to be a Titan card, whatever it is. Oh, on Android? Wow. That's bananas. Whoa. So, Android badge icon color. <laughs> There's these badge colors here. That's what you're talking about? Disable badging. I think it has to do with your... I think it might have just have to do with uh, the color. I think it sets it automatically. So... The last supported version of... Whoa... RX 2080 Ti. I don't even know if my machine has enough power for this. Holy bananas. It's the fastest GeForce ever. Oh, you got the 2080 Ti? Solid. Dude, your VR experience will be so great. Trey Hope, uh, I believe it's 2.5, whatever it was, because 3.0, I think, took a dependency on net standard. But I'm pretty sure that it... You could just do this, right? You could just go to Fugit and then type in Xamarin.forms. And then there it is. Yeah, the, I mean, the latest one has a net standard 1.0 project in it, so it'll install just fine into your PCL. It doesn't have a problem. I mean, because net standard 1.0 is backwards compatible with PCL, so. I think, yeah, because let's look on. Where are all my packages at? That's not what I want. Let's see, Xamarin Nougat.org. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can always return it, right? If it doesn't support it. So, I don't know if you type on like 251. 
Yeah, I don't think this matters. Let's see. Hmm, I don't know why his, uh... It's not getting the backwards compatible layers ones for some reason. Hmm. I'm gonna have to tell Frank this is a bug. That's weird, but it should install just fine. I wouldn't see why not. Hmm. Bye! I'm almost done anyways, so you didn't miss much. On the badge collar, let's see, Android... Colored badge. You can also set the notifications background color. Oh, I assume that that's maybe what it's from, like whatever you're setting it on, on it, perhaps. I don't know. I think it just does it automatically. That's my assumption. I don't know. Don't know. I don't know everything sometimes. We did it. We passed it. And I can... Oh. <laughs> I, I don't know why I have it set so I, someone has to approve it. That's silly James. Request reviews. Yeah, that seems fine. Boop. There we go. Now we're talking. We did it. It happened. Delete that branch. Get out of here. Goodbye, branch. Lovely. All green. All green. We did this together. Oh, I have a light theme for my Android toolbar for Android, but the icons on the status bar stay white. Um, on the status bar, you mean? Oh, you mean the background colors? The that background color is specified by you. Don't get to specify that. Android does. So maybe you're. It's on the border of being black or white. Yeah, it's not you. You you don't have control over that at all. You can't you can't change that status bar color at all. I'll show you specifically, Han. Ooh. What? Whoa. Um, yeah, you can't, you can't change that stuff inside of your, um, Android app that is controlled by, oh my, I'll show you really quick and then I'm going to go. So you need to, the toolbar has nothing to do with it. Inside of your Android application, when you go to your resources, inside of your styles, it's controlled by your primary dark color, whatever that is. That's what controls your color. Anyway, so we're green here. I'm going to finish up some other things, maybe later on, do some things. But thanks everyone for chilling and chatting. And uh, until next time, make sure you follow, subscribe, coming soon as soon as I light up my affiliate status bits all that goodness coming in the next week 
Um, hope you had fun. Thanks for chatting. Um, and peace. <laughs>